YouTube. We're going to try something different. Uh, you guys requested I put uh, camera on my head, so we're going to do that. And we will see how it turns out. But I'll warn you, I look around a lot. So it may make some people sick. First things first, we're going to raise up our counterweight stack that we set down the other day. come up make sure it's coming up even and then uh, let's see it's got some doors here it's kind of that noisy outside we'll turn a little air conditioning on even though it's 72 degrees I gotta pull my pin out of the floor that's my positive house lock all right pins out see my other GoPro stuck to the top we're gonna run out some boom pick some stuff up. See, I got this thing in my way. Got another crane over there. Uh, looks like they moved their trailer. like they moved that trailer back towards me a little bit and just watch it make sure I don't make it a convertible
for what we're going to reach over and do.
Okay, so uh, we're currently at a 94 point or 91.4 foot radius. We're good for 24 eight. Uh, we'll pick that up, move it a little bit, and then they're going to move that pressure vessel where I can see it. I got to stand it up. I guess it's sitting sideways on a pallet. That dark pile of stuff is there on the on the deck. Um, when we changed the hydraulic oil in this thing a few weeks ago, we spilled some oil on the deck. That's floor dry that was underneath the house, which the superstructure, the rotating structure on top, the crane part of it is called the house. And the superstructure part is called the house, but uh, that floor dry was underneath it. And it still hadn't blown off there yet, so we'll sweep it off there when we uh, get it back to the shop. They thought it'd be eight thousand. It's only, it's only around about uh, sixty-two hundred. Uh, Mike's calling me. Let's see what he needs. Yes, sir. Okay. Phone signals. It is. Okay. Moving down. Holding load. acceptable it, it's my third in-line preferred method of crane signaling because with cell phones there is just a little bit of a delay 
Um, so my first preferred method is uh, hand signals because it's instant. And then uh, radio communication and then uh, cell phones. But I've got I've got my uh, Bluetooth earbud so I can uh, operate hands free or I can I can operate and still use my phone for signaling without having to try to prop my phone up on my shoulder or put it on speaker phone. So, yeah, that hands-free is a whole lot better deal. Any, any operators out there that are following my channel, I would highly recommend picking one of these up. This Plantronics, or Plantronics, whatever, it's a PLT. What's the model on this thing? I don't know what the model is. You can Google it. That's what it looks like. Um... But that thing is amazing. It's been through my washer and dryer twice and still works. So it's got an IP68 rating, I think. And uh, I would say that their IP68 rating is very honest. Now, I had the recharging case for it that you could put your earbud in and it would charge it for you. I actually had two of those and both of those went through the washer each at different times and they didn't survive but this earbud just kept right on ticking so anyway they dogged me off that's what this signal is is dog it off and that just means hang out set your swing brake hang out we're gonna leave you alone for a little while so i'm gonna go ahead and shut the camera off until uh, they come back and we start doing something So uh, we're disconnected from that piece. I would imagine we're going to drop this beam off somewhere. Then we'll go after that vessel. So we're going to drop the beam off over here again. i got to cable up before I can uh, boom up with it. Because that pipe rack's in the way. And also these tanks. I'm 
of my radius where that beam is, so it's at it's at 55, roughly 55.7 feet. And then when I have to come back to it, I can just put my boom or put my radius at 55.7 feet and uh, cable down and snag it. thing I figured out with having this session on my hard hat <coughs> these little cameras don't weigh very much but I can feel it up there it makes my hard hat front heavy all right now we're gonna go after that vessel you can kind of see it over there it's a little red you can see a little sliver of red something that's that's a pressure vessel they're gonna move it over where I can see it second in Missouri but even with my air conditioner on low I was I was actually kind of cold in here so that's a welcome change from what it has been so I got my door open a little bit hopefully the outside noise uh, isn't gonna be too bad so it looks like they're dumping those blues off the hook Looks like they're gonna throw some uh, 20 foot steels on. Okay, I don't know if you guys saw that, that signal that Mike just gave me where he tapped his hard hat. Um, that's not really a, a standardized crane signal, but that means, hey, put your hook above, uh, put your hook at a height where nobody can hit their head on it. Sometimes people just wave their wave their hand over their head to tell you that.
up and cable it out at the same time. That way it brings it kind of straight towards us. Where they wanted, I suppose. <laughs> 